The original Pacific Rim movie, which opened up back in 2013, was embraced worldwide by kaiju and mecha fans alike, but its sequel, Pacific Rim Uprising, was not so well received. The film ended up a box office failure and critical failure, as a lot of critics said that it was basically just a lesser version of Del Toro's original creation. There was also a lot of ideas and concepts introduced in Pacific Rim Uprising that fans especially disliked. But now it seems like we have an indication as to where Guillermo del Toro, an original creator and screenwriter Travis Beecham, wanted to take his set of films. While speaking with Slash Film for his upcoming show Carnival Row, he talked about the ideas they had floating around early on. He said, quote, I talked to Guillermo about it early on because there were a ton of crazy ideas for where it could go. We definitely wanted to do a film that took place on the other side of the rift and see what that would be like. I don't know if he could just jump in and do that, but maybe after a few movies. Personally, I always really wanted to see a prequel. I'm not big on prequels when it comes to other properties, but I thought it'd be fun to go back and see the first Jaeger and first fight with the Kaiju. I wanted to see what that would have looked like from the beginning. If you guys remember, in the original Pacific Rim film, they kind of did a somewhat of a history lesson, introducing the film and the world and kind of, you know, the origins of the Jaegers and Kaiju fights. And in some of the expanded material, like comic books and novels, we actually did get some more information on what those early fights between Jaegers and Kaiju were like. The end of the first movie kind of left the door open for a sequel to explore the Rift and the Antverse and, you know, more of the precursors and what their whole deal was, but instead with Pacific Rim Uprising they decided to go in a very different route, introducing new characters, we didn't get the return of Raleigh Beckett, they killed off Mako, so a lot of stuff was shifted around and ultimately ended up for a lesser product. But drop your thoughts down in the comments below, are you guys bummed out that we didn't get to see Guillermo del Toro's original vision that he had come up with alongside screenwriter Travis Beecham. Thankfully, even though the second film flopped, we are still going to be getting more in the world of Pacific Rim in the form of a new anime series coming straight to Netflix, which should be dropping sometime next year. For all things Pacific Rim and for the latest updates on everything in pop culture, be sure to subscribe to HN Entertainment.